Buckle up, guys, because the world of weight loss can be one crazy roller coaster with all those flashy fad diets promising miracles, right? But hold on tight, because most of those diets are just a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Sure, they might give you that quick drop on the scale, but let's get real. They often leave you craving the good stuff your body actually needs. Not cool, right? And guess what? They're totally unhealthy and don't stand the test of time. Oh, and here's the kicker. The moment you stop those diets, bam, you bounce right back to where you started. It's like they're playing a cruel trick on us. But don't worry, we're here to uncover the truth about these so-called magic diets. Knowledge is power, and once you know the facts, you can make better choices for your health. So fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to debunk those diet myths and find the real deal. Let's do this. One, the keto diet. You know our body is like an engine, right? Well, the fuel it prefers is carbohydrates, specifically glucose. But what happens if we don't have enough of this fuel? That's where the keto diet comes in. It's a diet that cuts down your carb intake drastically and replaces it with fat. By doing this, your body goes into a special mode called ketosis, where it starts burning fat for energy instead of glucose. The keto diet wasn't actually invented recently. It dates back to the 1920s, when it was first used to treat epilepsy. And it seems like it's still helpful for managing that condition, according to some studies. But here's an interesting twist. Recent research suggests that the keto diet might also be good for weight loss. How? Well, it might make you feel more satisfied and reduce how much you eat. And that's not all. People are talking about the potential benefits of a keto diet for diseases like cancer, diabetes, and Alzheimer's too. But let's not jump the gun. More research is needed in these areas, to be sure. But hey, just like any other diet, it's not all smooth sailing. When you first start the keto diet, some people experience what's called keto flu. It's a bunch of not-so-fun symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and nausea as your body gets used to this whole new way of getting energy. And here's where the debate comes in. Some studies have hinted at a possible link between the keto diet and heart disease because of its high fat content. But scientists are still figuring that one out. In a nutshell, the keto diet can be a handy tool, especially for weight loss and maybe epilepsy. But it might not be the best choice for everyone since it has some side effects and is pretty restrictive. So it might be best to leave it to the professionals to decide whether or not it is the right pick for you. We've done a more detailed video on keto, pointing out the five dangers of the diet. Be sure to check it out. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Two, the paleo diet. Let's take a trip back in time to when our ancestors were hunter-gatherers. That's where the paleo diet comes into play. The idea behind this diet is to eat like our ancient relatives, so it focuses on foods they would have had access to during the Paleolithic era. That means lean meats, fish, fruits, veggies, and nuts are on the menu, but things like grains and dairy are a no-go. One of the big selling points of the Paleo diet is that it promotes whole, unprocessed foods that are packed with nutrients and usually lower in calories. And you know what? Research has suggested that this way of eating might help with weight loss and improve heart health. Sounds pretty good, right? But there's a catch. The paleo diet says no to dairy products, legumes, and whole grains, even though they are part of a balanced modern diet and have their own health benefits. These foods have been linked to improved heart health and a lower risk of chronic diseases. So sure, the paleo diet could be great for folks who want to cut down on processed foods and maybe shed some pounds. But before you go all in, keep in mind that we need more research to know how it really affects us in the long run. Plus, once again, since it's pretty restrictive, it might not be the best fit for everyone. As with any diet, it's essential to consider what works for your body and lifestyle. And if you want to learn more about paleo, then here's a video for you. Everything you need to know about paleo is covered in it. 3. The Vegan Diet You've probably heard a lot about the vegan diet lately. It's not just about what you eat. It's a whole lifestyle choice for many people. 
So with the vegan diet, you're saying no thanks to anything that comes from animals, like meat, dairy, and eggs. Now, there's some pretty cool health benefits to going vegan. Research shows that if you plan your meals well, a vegan diet can give you all the nutrients you need and even lower your risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. The secret sauce here is that it's packed with fiber, has low saturated fat, and loads of antioxidants. But let's keep it real. There are some things you need to be mindful of with a vegan diet. Since certain nutrients like vitamin B12, iron, and omega-3 fatty acids are more easily found in animal products, you might need to be extra careful about getting enough of them. Sometimes, that means planning your meals carefully or taking supplements to make sure you're getting everything your body needs. Choosing a vegan diet can also be a great way to lessen the impact on the environment. That's awesome! But remember, it takes some effort to make sure you're getting all the right nutrients. Ultimately, going vegan is a personal choice, and it's essential to think about what works best for you and your lifestyle. If you're up for it and plan things out, it can be a healthy and environmentally friendly option. 4. Intermittent Fasting You know, there's this popular dieting method called intermittent fasting, and it's quite different from most diets. Instead of focusing on what you eat, it's all about when you eat. The basic idea is to divide your day or week into eating windows and fasting periods. One common approach is the 16-8 method, where you eat during an 8-hour window and fast for the other 16 hours. The cool thing about intermittent fasting is that it doesn't tell you exactly what foods to eat, but it can work really well when combined with healthy eating. You see, it helps you lose weight by reducing your overall calorie intake and tweaking hormone levels to make weight loss easier. For instance, it can lower your insulin levels, boost growth hormone levels, and even help release the fat-burning hormone norepinephrine, noradrenaline. And hey, weight loss is just one of the benefits. Intermittent fasting may also give you better mental clarity, improve your heart health, and even promote longevity. Pretty neat, right? Did you know there are nine different ways you can do intermittent fasting? Watch this video if you want to know more. But here's the thing, it might not be a breeze for everyone. Some people might find it tough to go without food for extended periods, leading to overeating during the eating windows or giving up on the diet altogether. Also, since it doesn't provide specific food guidelines, some folks might choose less healthy options, which could affect their overall health. If you're the kind of person who can handle fasting and likes the flexibility of choosing your meals, intermittent fasting could be worth a shot. Just remember to pick nutrient-dense foods when you do eat, so you still give your body the proper nourishment it needs. Overall, it's a pretty interesting approach to dieting that can work for some people, but it's essential to find what suits you best and keeps you healthy and happy. 5. The Mediterranean Diet Yummy foods from countries like Greece and Italy are the inspiration for the Mediterranean diet. Well, the cool thing about this diet is that it's all about embracing plant-based goodness. Lots of fruits, veggies, whole grains, legumes, and nuts are the stars of the show. And instead of butter, they use olive oil to make things extra tasty. Plus, they love to use herbs and spices to add flavor, ditching excessive salt. Now, here's why it became so famous. This diet is great for your heart. Studies have shown that following the Mediterranean diet can actually lower the risk of heart disease. How? Well, it keeps the bad LDL cholesterol levels in check. You know, that's the kind that can clog up your arteries and lead to heart problems. So it's like giving your heart a big ol' hug. The Mediterranean diet has other awesome benefits too. It might help with weight loss, which is always a plus, right? Plus, there's evidence that it can even help with managing symptoms of depression. Who would have thought food could have such a positive impact on your mood? And guess what? It's like a secret to living longer, too. Yup, some studies suggest that people who follow this diet tend to live longer lives. It's like a key to the fountain of youth, but in a delicious food-filled way. So, if you're looking for a diet that's good for your heart, might help you shed some pounds, and brings a little Mediterranean flair into your life, this one might be worth giving a try. If you want to know the important health benefits of the Mediterranean diet, then we have just the video for you. Pretty cool, right? 6. The DASH Diet DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Fancy name, right? 
but all it means is that this diet is all about managing or preventing high blood pressure. So what's on the menu? Loads of good stuff. Fruits, veggies, whole grains, lean meats, and low-fat dairy are the stars of the show. And they're all there to help keep that blood pressure in check. But hold up, there are some things you've got to cut back on too, like red meat, salt, and added sugars. They're not so great for your blood pressure, so it's best to go easy on them. The best part is that this diet can work wonders quickly. Studies have shown that in just a few weeks, it can help bring down your blood pressure. And that's not all. It's like a superhero diet. It can lower cholesterol levels and might even reduce the risk of some cancers, heart disease, stroke, kidney stones, and diabetes. Talk about a powerhouse of goodness. But fair warning, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. You've got to keep an eye out for sneaky sodium and processed foods. Those labels need a good read, my friend. And for some folks with specific metabolic conditions, the DASH diet is relatively high in carbs, which might need a little consideration. 7. Low FODMAP Diet So, this diet isn't as famous as some others, but it's gaining popularity for helping people with a tricky condition called Irritable Bowel Syndrome, or IBS. And the name FODMAP might sound like a mouthful, but it's just short for some types of carbohydrates found in certain foods. When folks with IBS eat these carbohydrates, their small intestine doesn't absorb them properly. So they make their way to the large intestine, where the gut bacteria starts having a little party, and they produce gas as a result. And that's when the troubles begin. Things like bloating, tummy pains, and changes in bathroom habits. Now, the low FODMAP diet is like a superhero that comes to the rescue. It aims to reduce those pesky symptoms by cutting down on high FODMAP foods. So onions, garlic, legumes, wheat, and dairy might have to take a little break from the party. And guess what? Studies have shown that this diet really works. It can make a significant difference in managing IBS symptoms and bringing some much needed relief. But here's the thing. It's not a walk in the park. The low FODMAP diet can be a bit tricky to follow, and that's why it's super important to have a dietitian by your side. They can guide you through the process and make sure you're doing it right. See, it can be a bit restrictive, and if you're not careful, it might lead to some nutrient deficiencies. So if you or someone you know has IBS and wants to ease those annoying symptoms, the low FODMAP diet could be worth exploring. But remember, get some professional help to do it right and keep you healthy while you're at it. 8. The Flexitarian Diet Flexitarian sounds like a mix of flexible and vegetarian. Well, that's exactly what it is. This diet is all about being flexible with your food choices while still leaning towards the plant-based side of things. Here's the cool part. With the flexitarian diet, you can enjoy all those fantastic benefits of vegetarianism without saying a complete goodbye to meat. It's like having the best of both worlds. Research says it's a winner too. It can help with weight loss, improve your metabolic health, and even reduce the risks of heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. How awesome is that? The secret to its success lies in its focus on plant-powered goodness. You'll be loading up on fruits, veggies, legumes, and whole grains all packed with fiber and antioxidants, making your body super happy. Now, don't worry about missing out on essential nutrients either. While you'll be cutting back on meat, you'll still get some from time to time, so you won't have to stress about getting enough protein or stuff like iron, vitamin B12, and omega-3 fatty acids that are typically found in animal products. Flexitarians have your back. So if you're looking for a diet that's not too strict, lets you enjoy some meat now and then, but still gives you all the goodness of plant-based eating, the flexitarian diet could be your perfect match. If you want to make the switch, here's a video that will help you decide. Seven powerful health benefits of the flexitarian diet. Hey there, remember, we're all unique and what works for one person might not be the best fit for someone else. So the key is to find a healthy eating plan that you genuinely enjoy, can stick to, and meets your specific health needs. It's like finding that perfect pair of jeans that hug you just right. It's got to feel comfortable and make you feel good. Before you dive into any major diet changes, it's a smart move to chat with a healthcare pro. They can give you personalized advice and make sure it's all safe and sound. If you found this video helpful, show us some love with a thumbs up.
And don't forget to share it with your pals. Sharing is caring, right? And hey, if you want more awesome info like this, hit that subscribe button and we'll be serving up the knowledge. Until next time, take care of yourself and stay healthy, my friend. Cheers!